What is up, YouTube family? How in the heck are you? All right, so it is Saturday at 12.30 in the morning. I just got off of work. It was so slow. Oh, I hate after holidays because, you know, everybody just spent all their money and they don't want to spend any more. So they don't want to come out to eat or go to the bar and drink. So let me shut this off for a second. Um, here's what we're doing. So I wanted, I was kind of happy to get out early anyway because I want to go check the dumpsters. <laughs> I'm horrible, I know. Like, I need to get out of work so I can go check dumpsters. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, but no, for real though, I want to check the other candle dumpster in the other town close to my work. So that's what we're going to go do. Also, thank you to everybody that's been emailing me about goodie boxes and that you're interested in them. I promise you I will have a video up next week. I still don't know fully how I'm going to do it, but, you know, I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly don't. But, yes, I'll have that video up next week for you. I have to work now Monday and Tuesday, so I don't know if I'll get it up <laughs> on either of those days. It might be Wednesday before I get it up. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And you guys know I have twins and I need to get up at 7 to 8 a.m. with them when they get home at 2 a.m. in the morning and you know 2 a.m. in the morning 2 in the morning oh, I'm tired so you know it is what it is but thank you guys for being patient I appreciate it also thank you everybody that has sent me an email or commented about praying for Annie who is just amazing. I'm getting another email right now as we speak from Brittany. Hi Brittany, you just emailed me about a goodie box. <laughs> I'll email you back tomorrow girl. And thank you so much to everybody that has sent Annie well wishes and praying for her uh, to get through this very difficult time of losing her husband. I really truly appreciate that and I'm sure she does too. And a lot of people also emailed me wanting to know how they could help Annie Maybe if there's a PayPal or anything like that. Um, like I said, I haven't talked to her yet. Um, I kind of just wanted to give her some time and some space right now since she's dealing with so much. All right, I'm going to show you guys this fog because for real, I can't see a dang thing. <laughs> um, yes, it's not a blurry screen that I'm recording with. That is what it looks like. It's that foggy out, guys. It is that bad. Oh my goodness. There's somebody else dumpster diving. <laughs> whoop whoop, more dumpster divers! You too. Be careful, girls. Thank you. Oh, that was so nice. She's one of my subscribers. And she's such a sweetheart. She's like, I just messaged you on Facebook to tell you to come here. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not getting in the dumpster. Like, this is your, you got here first. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not stepping on toes. Like, you guys get in the dumpster and do your thing. But she gave me a candle. She saved a candle for me. Thank you so much. That was so nice. But they're going to check this area pretty good. So I told them, I'm like, yeah, you take this town. I'll go over to my go-to town. Because it's only 1230. Normally, I'd still be at work. So, Okay, guys. We are almost to the candle dumpster. I'm the go-to town.
came all this way for a container and one lotion, which I already have like eight of. <laughs> what is up, YouTube family? Welcome to the full reveal from my Friday night. What was that? My Friday night dive. Yeah. Was it? No, was it Christmas? Oh my goodness. I'm so confused. I'm so tired. <laughs> Bear with me on this video, guys, because it's going to be rough. Anyway, from my last dive, which I believe was my Friday night dive. Anywho, I got some pretty cool stuff, and then I got some stuff that, uh, you know, whatever. But let's dive in and see what I got. Oh, and you guys just seen, I went and checked the candle dumpsters in both towns on Saturday after I got off work. And I actually met a subscriber that lives out near me. Well, near the town I go diving in at the other candle dumpster. And um, I actually met her and she gave me a candle. How freaking awesome was that? That was amazing. Those girls were so sweet and I am so happy I met them. So hello girls and thank you again. I appreciate it. All right, let's get into the stuff. Right. So Friday night, I didn't have any luck at the candle dumpster I went to. I did. You guys see me grab two things. One was like a glass jar and the other one was a lotion. The glass jar was actually cracked down the side. So that's in the garbage. Um, but I did get little black party dress lotion and that's all I got. So, or that was Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night I got this and that was it. But that's okay. And then the girls, actually I found this lotion which is twilight woods and there's only like three quarters of it in there those that candle dumpster store destroyed everything they literally went ham on destroying breaking dumping everything out it it was bad and then i found a wallflower not marked with any marker used but you know still good and then the girls gave me this mahogany teak wood candle and it is broken the glasses but the candle is still perfectly intact and this smells amazing so thank you again ladies i appreciate it all right and that's all from the candle dumpster sadly but we had better luck other places so we got this locking file chest out of the what store was that the office store <laughs> i told you you guys are gonna have a rough time with me today okay so it does open and it has the combination lock instructions this actually tells you how to factory reset it and then um you can put your combination in but the only thing wrong with it on this side you guys can see but this is coming apart from here and it's already fixed <laughs> so voila I fixed it okay then we went to the five dollar type store and oh my goodness when I tell you they did not destroy a single thing they did not destroy a single thing that's crazy normally they go ham but they did not this time so we got I'm pretty sure this is like one of those things that you hang over like a kid's bed or who's ever bed. Like they call it a mosquito net, I think, but it's just pretty much for decor. And then you hang it up and it drapes over their bed. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. If I'm wrong, I know you guys will let me know in the comments, but there's nothing wrong with it. I'm guessing just the packaging came off. I thought that was cute. We got still in the box a karaoke microphone, which my girls will love this. I have no idea why this was thrown out, but it was. Jewelry tray, which is came unglued. So all I need to do is re-glue it, but it's supposed to look like that. Oops, don't break it. And it says shine bright. We got two fanny packs. <laughs> which my girls will totally love these. One is a donut, there's a donut, and one is a butterfly. We got a Santa hat, but it's actually an elf hat. 
with a little elf ear on the side. <laughs> they do not break any of this stuff, which is crazy. We got a like Nerf gun, but their version, you know, and it does work. And it actually has the bullet, so that's awesome. Sorry guys, I thought it was my furnace running, but there's something going on with my microphone in this video. I do apologize. I got a ton, of course, of iPhone, and I think these are actually all iPhone chargers, aren't they? iPhone, iPhone, yeah, these are all iPhone chargers. So I got a bunch of those. I got a pair of headphones that actually did not have a cut cord for one, which is awesome. We have a big, oh, this is cool, washable clear glue, and it says there's a slime recipe, um, and it gives you a website. You can look up the slime recipe. So pretty much just for slime for the kiddos, which my kids love to make slime. Not so much me. I really don't like the slime because it gets stuck everywhere. So they had some of these slimes again where they actually broke the the stake that's supposed to go into the ground, but I still have that one white, um, like, wooden picture that I got from the candle dumpster a couple months ago that was like an Easter sign, and I painted over it, and I made the Halloween one, and then I didn't know what I was going to do with the other one, but I wanted to do something for Christmas. I think I found what I'm going to do. So, there's this. It says two... Wait, what's it say? To our cabin with a little moose. And then it has like an arrow. It says skating rink this way, bunny slopes, hot cocoa bar with a tree. So I think I'm going to use these and make a cute little sign for that. So that's my idea with that. Of course, who knows when I'll have time to do that. Um, this is a little box. Probably how candy. You could put something in this for a gift, so keep this. Put it in with my wrapping paper for next year. We got some super cute little rings, gold rings. My girls love rings now, so I'll give those to them. We got a couple nail polishes. There's that shiny pink one. We got a blue teal one. Our iPhone cord. Got a whole thing of the mini balls for the little trees, which I will save for next year. We got a wet and wild multi stick. We got all these trays. Oh, here's another nail polish, a black with glitter. We got all these trays. There's directions for an ultimate light up and glow crystals kit and all these plastic trays. And then we got all the sand. Oh yeah, this is the crystal. Okay, crystal growing chemical. So, and then it says plaster, blue crystal growing chemical. So there's all these different things so the girls can try and grow some crystals. So that is awesome and we will use it. I got a soothing watermelon and aloe cooling gel mask. I always find this stuff in the $5 pipe store bag. We got some little bows for Christmas time, which I will save for next year. We got a Frozen 2 uh, decanter set. It's a 3-in-1 inflatable snowflake floaty, 3-in-1 body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. But I think I'm missing something. Oh, okay. Here's the floaty. And then I guess this is the, yeah, this is the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. But, or maybe there was something else. I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. My girls will think this is adorable, so we'll keep that. We got some cute coloring books. Over 150 really cute stickers inside. Oh, well, that's cute. It's empty. <laughs> but the colored markers or the colored pencils, I mean, are up top. Oh, no, there's... Oh yeah, that's cool. They're double-ended. Okay, so eight new colored pencils for the girls. So then we got, oh, this must be the inside of it. Oh my God, Shannon. <laughs> I was holding the inside on my lap the whole time. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Anyway, the cover's ripped off, so I don't need the cover anyway, but here's the stickers. There's tons of stickers, and then there's, um, 
it's kind of like a learning activity book. The girls will love those, so we'll give those to them as well. We got some peppermint candy canes. The box is just a little torn up, but I will save these for next year to put on our tree. I got a wall plaque hook. Um, it says home sweet home. It is missing one of these, but if you have something hanging on that, you're not going to see it anyway, so I'll keep that. We got another phone charger. Yep, it's an iPhone charger. Another thing for the girls. This is an Anna and Elsa Frozen 2 little set. It looks like we have some kind of little coloring book, stickers, gems, sequins, a pen, and some glue. So they will love that. A little cupcake piece, um, piece, oh Jesus, a cupcake um, ornament for Christmas. Lord Shannon. I got another little Bluetooth speaker, which I don't know if it works, but no worries. I'll just donate it anyway. We got a color changing light bulb. Yeah, it is, and the remote is in there, so we'll have to see if that works. That's pretty cool. I got a little fake, um, oh god, I can't think of the word. Succulent, there I go. Takes me a minute. And then there was this little egg, and it has some kind of little toy in it, which the girls will, of course, love. I'm trying to get through this fast, guys, because my husband has to come down here and go to bed for work. I need to go get ready for work and then take my car to the shop because they called me Saturday and said to bring it in today at 2 o'clock and they're giving me a rental for free. So I guess that place I called is actually helping because I didn't even have to call them. Then I went to the baby dumpster and I grabbed that big bag of clothes. There's actually some things for me and the girls. So I found this Gap tank top. I will keep that. And then I just got a little pair of leggings, like shorter leggings for summer, fall, spring, whatever, for the girls and their size, which is a six. So that's awesome. That's all I got out of that bag for us. There was also a super cute John Deere tractor, which I will donate. There is a ton of baby clothes, a lot of like three to six months. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them, but a lot of onesies, some sweaters, more onesies, yeah, three to six months. I think there was some newborn, maybe nine months. And most of these are all perfectly fine. There's a Gymboree 4T boys shirt that says awesome. This is a justice shirt size 10 love who you are with a doggy on it some more boys clothes and this is a 5t little cat and jack from target uh let's see h and m boys eight to nine dress up shirt that's really cute this is super cute 1012 Dream Believe and Inspire little girl sweater. So yeah, then we got I think a Nike shirt. Yeah, dry fit Nike little boy shirt. So I will donate this whole bag. There's still a couple more things. Oh, look at this pretty dress. This is so cute. Size seven little girls dress. How adorable is that with a little tie you can tie in the back so all this stuff will get donated then I went to the B.L store and I got extra virgin olive oil sunflower oil and canola oil so I got that there was a case of these a whole bunch were broken there was only a few that weren't but they were all covered in oil and I did not want to become an oily mess because I wouldn't have been able to get out of that dang dumpster. So I just grabbed one. Then I grabbed this case of candles. And they are all Mountain Retreat three wick candles. Oh my God, these smell amazing. So there's one. Yeah, this one is broken. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell right there. But I believe, yep, 
the other three are perfectly fine and not broken. So only one broken one, which I'll turn into wax melts, and the other three are perfectly good. Where did I get this? Oh, I got this at the B Dot L also, and guess what? It works. This is a Bluetooth speaker, and look at this stand it has that goes with it. How cute is that, right? So the only problem is I did not find the, there's supposed to be a cord that goes in right there so that you can charge it. Um, I could not find that anywhere in the dumpster. I kept looking for it. I couldn't find it. So it's just not going to be able to be charged. So I guess we'll just use it until it dies. And then <laughs> I might have one around here. I'm sure I do. That will work. Um, and then I thought, even if I didn't want to put that on top of here, this is cute. It's just like a little planter or even just like a decor piece. What else did I get out of there? That's all I got out of there. Then I went to, oh, you seen me go to the discount grocery store and I got eggs, a dozen eggs, all dozen eggs, the whole dozen was fine and the expiration wasn't until February. And then I got um, a bag of apples, which one had like a little spot on it. I threw it away and the rest are perfectly fine. And I got a whole bunch of sandwich baggies. The bag, the box that it was in got wet from the rain and just fell apart. So I just took them out of the box. And there we go. Perfectly good baggies that didn't need to go into the dumpster to the landfill and never even be used which is what they're made for. So we will get good use out of these. My husband and the two girls, I have to pack lunch for all of them, so we will definitely use these. I normally use reusable lunch zip bag things that I bought, but when we have, when I find these in the dumpster, I use them. And then I went to the Pier Number store, and oh my goodness, guys, when I seen that basket in the dumpster, I about crapped myself, I ain't even gonna lie. So I thought this was wet. It's not wet. It's just the type of wicker it is. It's very dark. So it has this worn look, but I mean, this is cute. The only thing wrong with it is right here. It's ripping apart. I don't know if you can tell that. Yeah, you can. So I figure that's not that big of a deal. I can either use it as decor or to just hold something like in my laundry room. Um, maybe like to hold sheets or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll figure something out. And then when I pulled that out, this was actually inside of it. This is a candle holder and look at how freaking cute that is. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'll take that. Yay me. Okay. What else? Um, oh, then I went to the, you guys seen, there was nothing at the coat factory. There was nothing at the home good type store, which sucked, but you know, what are you going to do? Then I went to, um, the one that rhymes with Molly's and I found that big thing right there and over here, that thing. So this is a $20 three tier shelf and I love these cause I can put all my dumpster finds on the shelves in my garage. So the only thing wrong with it is up here, do you see that? Well, let me bring it closer to you. It looks like it was maybe dropped in shipping and it's all jacked up and twisted right here. That doesn't bother me any, as long as I can set it up still, it's perfectly fine. I'll use it. I needed one of these. So that will get some good use for sure. I seen this and I was like, there is no way that's in there. Oh, it was, kind of. So I looked at this and it says, the light does not come on. Cause it's supposed to have lights that come on. So I was like, I don't care if the light doesn't come on. I would love to have one of these. Well, it came with everything except the long pipe part that I need <laughs> to make it a vacuum. So here's that piece. Here's the top piece. I got the charger. I got everything but the long piece that I need to vacuum with. Yeah. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I am probably going to contact Bissell and see if I can purchase just that part from them and go from there. I'm sure I could. If not, maybe I will like check eBay and see if anybody has one on there, um, like parts or something. So that's what I'll do. Okay, and that is it guys. I'm going to wrap up this video because I have a million things to do today. Sorry it took me forever to get it up, but I had to work and I have to work tonight and I have to work tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to go diving tonight and tomorrow night after work. Um, I'm not sure, but we'll see. And then I can get that video up next week sometime. Also, I'm going to be doing my video on the goodie boxes. I have so much stuff, guys. So bear with me. I'm going to get that video up, but give me some time because I have to pull everything out, set it all up, and then figure out how I'm going to do the boxes. Um, I think I'm going to offer two or three different sizes and different price ways. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to let you guys say, okay, I want this scent with this and that, because that's going to be way too hard for me. I think I'm just going to put a couple different boxes together and show you guys what all is available and then just go by email. And then I'll do like a couple different sizes of each box and that's what we'll do. So be on the lookout for that video coming later on this week. But like I said, bear with me. It might not be Wednesday. It might be Thursday or Friday. And then I have to work Saturday and Sunday, so <sighs> it never ends, guys. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to keep watching those ads for me. And as always, happy diving, guys. I also forgot to show you this. This came from the $5 type store, too. It was behind my big butt. That's why I forgot about it. But I think it just needs just needs to have some batteries put in it, and I'm sure it'll work just fine, and my kiddos will absolutely love it. So now that is it. So happy diving. Bye, guys.